Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? How are we? For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, my name is Fumi De Salovold, and you guys are so very welcome. Ime Udoka. He is the head coach for the Boston Celtics, and he is also the partner of over 10 years to actress, fabulous, beautiful, gorgeous Nia Long. They also have a 10 year old son. Guess what? He has been suspended, not for 15 games, not for 20, not for 25, not even 30 games. He's been suspended for the entire season of 2022-2023 to sit his butt down over a consensual sexual affair with somebody else up in there. We heard from the grapevine, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. She's also married and happens to be the wife of a higher up. He's the one that busted this story. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. And, 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 there was a pregnancy and an abortion all up in this matter. Hence why this thing went all the way left for Ime. Of course, what? Social media, everybody came out in arms. Oh my God, Nia, we are so sorry that this happened. Oh my God, Nia is beautiful. She's gorgeous. Nia Long is beautiful. As far as I'm concerned, all women are beautiful. Again, if you follow me on this channel, I describe us as butterflies. We are all shapes, sizes, heights, complexions. We are beautiful. And as far as I'm concerned, a man can buy a house. It's a woman that makes it a home. Nia Long is physically beautiful, but that does not and will never stop a man from cheating on you. Ask Cindy Crawford, who was dating Richard Gere. Ask Beyonce, who is with still Jay-Z. Men cheat, and it is so wrong. And what I don't like about this is that everybody is up in arms about him being seated out for an entire season. We even had, let me just double check now because I got all of my facts up in here. I'll tell you what kind of sort of bothered me. We had Matt Barnes. Matt Barnes came up. Matt, be quiet, I'm talking. We had Matt Barnes come up speaking in defense of Ime. And he said, Listen, this is not new. This is so not new. This is every day for us up in here. We have this going on amongst the PRs, amongst the players, amongst the execs, amongst the higher ups. This is not new. Chopping it up on ESPN with you guys about this, but I'm off until next week. But I definitely want to touch on this email Udoka situation. Just saw the year, <laughs> a year suspension was just handed down by the team for an inappropriate, consensual, sexual situation with a female that worked in the organization. I've been in the league for a lot, played in the league for a long time. Anyone who played in the league could tell you this is a very common situation. This is not new news for people who've been in the league or even around organizations. I've seen it from owners to executives, to coaches, to players, to trainers, to therapists, to dancers, to PR ladies like, this is not uncommon. And to just bring some context to it, the NBA just suspended Sarver for all the shit he did and he got a year too. So you're trying to tell me what Robert Sarver did and Udoka did or even on the same level, even on in the same book? yet they warranted the same amount of time. This is a bad look, man. The Celtics, whoever made this, this decision, it was a terrible decision. You want to suspend a man 15, 20, 25 games, but a whole season for a consensual situation that not only happens in the NBA, but happens in every single workplace. This was a terrible call, man. Since I'm a part of the media now, and I tried not to be like everyone else, uh, I try to, you know, report and talk with facts and, and, and honesty. And I clearly have to say last night, uh, without knowing all the facts, I spoke on Ime Udoka's defense. And after finding out the facts after I spoke, I erased what I posted because this situation in Boston is deep. It's messy. It's a hundred times uglier 
than any of us thought. And that's why I erased what I said. Uh, some things happened that I can't condone, I can't back. And it's not my place to tell you what happened. If it ends up coming out, it ends up coming out. But that was the reason why I erased my post last night because after I posted it, I got a call from someone who had all the details and the shit is deep. So, man, praying for everybody involved. Um, you know, hope everyone gets through this. And I saw a lot of blogs picked up what I said, even though it was only on my page for like two minutes. So hopefully they picked this up too um, for me being wrong and, and jumping out there without the facts. So that's where I'm going to leave it. God bless. Celtics decided because his code of conduct now decided that he should sit out an entire season. Oh my God, that's too much. You are forgetting. We have a code of conduct. Imagine you have come here and presented yourself as a family man. You have a partner. You have a son. You broke the code of conduct, Ime. You were up there sleeping with another woman that was not your partner, that you had not presented to the team, to the organization as your partner, that you, and this is what really irks me, you knew that you were under investigation. You didn't tell Nia. You let Nia just two weeks ago, just two weeks ago, pack everything and your son come all the way to Boston on a bed of lies. Now everybody is crying, oh my God, he's out for an entire season. What about all of the sacrifices Nia also made in relation to the family structure for the family, for you? She's a fabulous actress. I know she sat out for a whole bunch of stuff because she's going to take care of her younger son. He's only 10. As far as I'm concerned, he's still a baby. We all do it. Adrian too, the same thing. I work half days. I'm up like four in the morning because by 4.30, I'm out because I'm a mom. Because I've got Adrian. Before that, he was on my breast. Before I said, choo -choo 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 -choo, go to nursery, go and play, go and make some friends. Because that's as we as women, that's it. Our careers do take a hit because we have to be mothers. What about the sacrifices that she made there? And so you are living in different cities. You feel that you have all of the opportunity to get really cutesy cutesy with somebody else. But do you not see? You can lie, you can cheat, you can hide, you can do it for years. But the time will come when your number will come up and you'll be exposed. And in May, you were exposed to be the lying, cheating human being that you are. That you are. Because you looked into Nia's face and you lied to her repeatedly. Repeatedly. And you knew you were doing other stuff. And you even had the audacity. Flagrant audacity to say come on through come to boston give up everything come to boston you see we women we, we do a lot we do too much i heard through the grapevine they're not married because of nia's wishes it's a thing now where celebrities that got a lot of money they have a spiritual wedding that's how they're able to keep their assets separate nia if you feel that you can only have a spiritual wedding with this man, that you cannot trust this man all the way with your coin, he's not the man. The red flag was sitting in the middle of the spiritual wedding cake. He was not the man and he has ultimately proved himself so. You see, you either go 100 with the right guy or you don't go one foot sideways with the wrong guy because this is what it is. Amen. Why would you do this to your son? Why would you do this to yourself? You didn't see it coming and you would never have believed that the Celtics would do this to you. But you see the higher up guy said, fry him because he's sleeping with my wife. Which is a lot. <laughs> and they did. They stuck together. You know they have hierarchies even inside the organization. You ain't nobody. You're just the chief coach. Let me just double check this and make sure that I'm saying the right thing. 
you are the head coach will tell you what to do you do it and then you go home in essence and they said we'll do without you for a year ha huh. what can i tell you guys nothing much to be said do i have any empathy for ime no and here's the thing it is so rampant it's become such a regular thing that everybody, basketball players and all, they are desensitized. They are desensitized to the empathy to wives. And that's what you have, basketball wives, basketball girlfriends, sports. Please, she ain't nobody. At the end of the day, she's looking all glitterati. I'm taking very good care of her. She should be quiet. I mentioned this in a couple of episodes, but I'm going to mention it again. We have what? Story time. Listen to the story. I must have been 25, 26. I had just been in New York for about a year. And I was dating. Ula, well, he was football, yeah? Baseball. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He was baseball. Baseball guy. And when I tell you, when I tell you, I lived the best of the best of the best of the best. He had his little helicopter where I could just, you know, fly into the city, fly out of the city. I wasn't in traffic. They shut down boutiques on Fifth Avenue and I shopped. And there was, there was never a money exchange. All the bills, whatever, it went to him. They shut down parts of the restaurant. We would go into the back of the restaurant where you would never see, where you never even knew that the restaurant was extended to. You never knew. And we had waiters to serve us and eat and all what not. I lived fabulously. When I tell you, I lived the life. One day, when I was leaving his place, I just saw the girls driving by. And I sat there in my latest Chanel drip. I had beautiful jewelry from Cartier. Diamonds too, beautiful. Ooh, if you saw the knockers of earrings. And I could have just taken a blind eye. But the thing was, I said, you know, it was funny. As I sat there, so amazing, you know. In, in those days, it was Manolo Blahniks. I had my Manolo Blahniks, I had my Chanel, I had my Cartier, my, my Chanel bag, because I, I was all in Chanel, I remember that day, that morning. As the girls were being driven past me, I knew where they were going. It cheapened every single thing I wore. I felt cheap. Chanel never looked so cheap like it looked that morning, it looked cheap. I think that was what made me make the decision to say, don't go back. Don't go back. It's so interesting how you can live that glitterity life. And when it really comes down to it, if the guy doesn't love you, doesn't doesn't respect you. You realize everything that you got on really was not made of an effort from him because he can afford it. I made it a conscious point to not date sports guys after that because there was story after story. My girlfriends are, were married to them. They're all divorced, separated or keeping quiet because some of them had kids with them. And you have so many different half-brothers and sisters and all of this. It's a mess. And uh, Matt just really confirmed that for me. That it's nothing new. What are you talking about? Everybody just, you know, it's not even so much as a blind eye. They just turn around and be like, let me get you guys. Is this, is this a side chick or is this the wife? So that when I see them, I, I know what I'm saying right. I've been in the league for a lot. I've played in the league for a long time. Anyone who's played in the league could tell you. This is a very common situation. This is not new news for people who've been in the league or even around organizations. 
I've seen it from owners to executives, to coaches, to players, to trainers, to therapists, to dancers, to PR ladies like, this is not uncommon. That's how it goes. It's unfortunate. I don't know what their marriage is all about. I don't know what it entails. I don't know whether there's an understanding there. I don't know. I think it got so much attention because Nia is a beautiful, physically beautiful actress that's never in the news. So to find out, especially this week, guys are cheating left and right <laughs> and they're being caught. How about that? That this came up in the news and we are like, oh wow, no hope for us. Oh, there's hope for you guys. There's a lot of hope for you guys. You have to look at the red flags. And I will tell you here and now, look for a really nice, decent guy that's got a good job, that wants to go places, that's ambitious, that's hardworking. Marry him. But these celebs, they come out the other end with a God complex. They're arrogant as hell and they think they'll never get caught. They think they'll never get caught and they can do anything. And she will sit there and she will always take it because I am A, B, and C and God knows I'm making that coin. Look at your lifestyle. Look at the bags. Look at the shoes. Look at the drivers. Look at the maids. Look at the schools that the kids are going to. Who gonna give you that at this age? Nia, you're 51, sis. You're 51. You're not 41. You're not 31. You have a baby boy, 10 years old. You're not going anywhere. You know what? I can cheat on you. And that's another thing. How long has he been cheating on her for? All this time. But you went to go and poke your little fingers in the wrong set of whiskers. Higher up. She's a wife. And the husband found out. Allegedly. Allegedly. I have to say it. Allegedly. And there was a pregnancy and there was an abortion involved. Allegedly. The story is still unfolding. So here you come, apologizing to the team, to the this. And this is all that I'm going to say so far. You had everything, Ime. You had everything. Why did you go out into the streets? The streets got nothing for you. This is a piece of advice for these guys. As much as you think you can get away with all of this, you cannot. You will always be caught eventually. And then all of a sudden, it's not worth it. Is it worth it? for your pocket, your bank account to be hit like this. Like Max said, not 10, 15, 20, 25 games, an entire season. Ooh, that's too much. But what about Nia that you've been cheating on? What about Nia that you made her relocate and she had no idea you would even have the simple decency to tell her? She found out when you got suspended. Not prior. <laughs> After the cookies and the cream. You know, and she relocated. You already know she gave stuff away. That brings me to another little topic. Somebody in the comment section, because I had said how I had sold a lot of my stuff. I had given away a lot of my stuff before I relocated to Norway to be with Ula because we had gotten married and this was my new life. And somebody was like, girl, you are giving stuff away. Why don't you just take it with you? And I realized that some people don't understand or they've never been in that situation to know that when you're relocating, am I going to ship an Ikea couch that they will charge me in weight when I'm going to a whole house full of furniture that he already got? And you already know Scandinavia, Sweden. Ikea comes from Sweden. Ikea is Swedish. How about that? Neighboring countries because they're all Scandinavia. I should bring an Ikea couch paid in weight to take it over 14 hours on flight because it's my couch. How crazy and ridiculous is that? So I know what relocating is. I know what challenges there are. I know how intense that is to uproot everything and relocate. She's given all of that up to come and stay with you in Boston and you are in another woman's bed. So now that allegedly pregnant and abortion, there was no protection when you were sleeping with her. So if you bust out a condom to Nia, Nia will be like, what's this all about? 
translation, you're also not using any protection with her either. So you're exposing her. And your partner is exposing her husband. Why? If you feel that way, if you feel that Nia, because you can't have both. You cannot have both. And don't do it for the kids. If you don't want to be with Nia long anymore, tell her, I don't want to be with you anymore, sis. You just don't do it for me anymore. Let us co-parent. I will respect and I will accept that. It's not a great thing, but I will accept that. Because the temptation is too much because you are just too weak. You are a weak man. You cannot have both. You are the cookie jar. Toffees or, or strawberry filled jam. You can only have one. You cannot have both. I'll take toffee. I love toffee. You can't have both. These guys want to have both. Now you've lost everything. Do you see how we go down? Don't forget to like, to subscribe, hit the notification button, drop down in the comments and let me know how you feel about this. Nia, I'm sorry, sis. I'm sorry you didn't want to get married. Well, he felt that, you know what, then I can go out there and I can be what I want to be. You have to look at the red flags. Look at the red flags. Come to Fumi Nation. Come to the church. Let's talk about this. Okay? In the meantime, take care of yours and redirect yourself from Boston. See if you can get the old house back and go back. But you're not going to Boston. You go to Boston, you're kind of signing. Well, you, he's not even there for the year. How about that? Huh. Let me know, guys. Let me go. Love you. Mwah.